Hey everybody, and welcome to another lecture with Coding with Roby. And in this lecture, we'll be going over the To-Dos project. The To-Dos project will have many features attached. For the To-Do project, we'll be having two separate tables created in our database, one being a table called Users, which includes an ID, an email, a username, a first name, a last name, a hashed password using bcrypt encryption, and a is active column. Our other table will be a table for our to dos, which will have an ID, title, description, priority, complete, and a foreign key column of owner ID. We will create APIs for all request methods get, post, put, and delete have a full SQL database to save to-dos and users, authentication using bcrypt hashing encryption, and authorization using JSON Web Tokens JWT. But what will we be creating? Well, we will be creating two separate objects for our users and our to-dos. We will have to create all of our normal APIs for to-dos which includes getting the to-dos, updating the to-dos, adding a to-do, and deleting a to-do. However, we will have some additional APIs for creating a user and getting a JSON web token. The only difference here is that each to-do request will require a JWT to be decoded and authorized before retrieving data. This brings us to one of our authentication requests. Before a user can do any of the CRUD operations, they must first log in. Once our algorithm verifies a user, we will send them a JSON web token using our seeker and algorithm we embedded within our application. The client will then have to attach this JWT to each request, or they will be denied and sent a 401 HTTP exception. Now in the to-dos project, we will see a real production-ready development that includes authentication and authorization. We'll be using request bodies to send data during post and put request methods, do data validation, and raise appropriate HTTP exceptions based on the request and the response needed. Our APIs will not only have these, but more APIs as well. We will be using a git with an empty URL to retrieve all the to-dos, git with a to-do ID as a path parameter to get a specific to-do after validation of a user is complete, put with a to-do ID path parameter and request body of a JSON to-do to update a specific to-do after validation of a user is complete, Post with a JSON request to do to add a to do after validation of a user is complete. And delete with a path parameter of a to do ID to delete a to do after validation of a user is complete. So once again, we will cover all CRUD operations using authentication and authorization. This wraps up this lecture on the to do project overview and I will see you in the next video.